College fellows, chair, governors, staff, graduates, parents and friends, I'd like to welcome you all to our very special celebration, the achievements of our higher education students sitting before us. I'm pleased to welcome our honorary guests, Paul Burgess and Mark Hogg to these celebrations. I know Paul and Ben join me in congratulating you all on your achievements. I'd like to thank you both for joining us today to receive your honorary fellowships of Myasco College and University Centre Myasco. So Paul, please can I ask you to take a few steps forward and face the audience. It's with great pleasure that I introduce you to Paul Burgess, pitch manager at AS Monaco Football Club. I know Paul doesn't like the limelight, so this is really hard for him standing there today. But, uh, Paul has spent most of his childhood living just outside Blackpool in Thornton. At the age of 14, he realised he wouldn't make it as a professional footballer and read in a football magazine about opportunities to work in the industry as a groundsman. He asked if he could do work experience at his local football club, Blackpool Football Club. And from here, he went on to secure holiday match and match day work before attending college with Myasco and becoming an apprentice groundsman at Blackpool Football Club. 18 months later, Paul headed to London to join Arsenal Football Club as an assistant groundsman and work alongside the very man he'd read about in the, in the magazine who'd inspired him on his journey, Steve Braddock. Considered by many in the profession to be the best at what he does, Paul swiftly progressed to Arsenal Stadium and head groundsman in 1999 at the very young age of 21, by far the youngest at the top of the game. Thanks to the success of the team, he was able to introduce new technologies and management systems to ensure a state-of-the-art playing surface. He oversaw all aspects of design and construction of the club's new 60,000 Emirates Stadium ground and became the first person in the world to purchase and treat a whole pitch with artificial grow lights. Paul's world-leading reputation led to him being asked to be an advisor to UEFA at the age of 24 for the 2004 and then later the 2008 European Championships before he was headhunted by Real Madrid Football Club in 2009. Paul was promoted to Director of Grounds and Environment, the world's biggest football club, and was there for more than a decade, leading a team of more than 60 staff across the famous Bernabeu Stadium and their world-leading grounds. This included a 500 million redesign of the stadium with a pioneering pitch system he designed. Always looking for a new adventure and to challenging himself, Paul moved in 2020 to a new role at AS Monaco to take on the role of developing their new grounds project as well. Paul's influence on the sports turf industry has been recognized by many. His dedication and commitment over his 13 years at Arsenal led to him winning five Premier League Groundsman of the Year awards and Institute of Groundsman Turf Professional Awards. Arsene Wenger remarked to Paul during his time at Arsenal that through his influence and methods, he'd improved every Premier League pitch in the country. No mean feat. Paul has also won two Turf Business Top Turf Influence Awards, the Association of Colleges Gold Award, Institute of Groundsmen Special Recognition Award, the STMA Derek, er Derek Erickson Founders Award, and Spanish Greenkeeper Groundsman of the Year. Myasco have been incredibly fortunate to have Paul as one of our alumni. He is a fantastic role model and supporter of the college and university centre, always promoting the value of education, willing to share his experiences, pushing the boundaries for industry and pursuing his dreams. It is rare you meet someone in life with such passion for their work. It is truly inspiring. Chair, I present Paul Burchis for an honorary fellowship in recognition of his outstanding achievements in the field of grounds maintenance and his wider role in promoting the importance of innovation and education in the national and international sports turf industry. Well done, Paul.
<laughs> They're not easy to put on. Our students uh, will know that from today, I'm sure. <laughs> we did practice earlier. You wouldn't believe it, would you? <laughs>